What's up everybody, Belligerent here with another Bloodline video in the Clan series. What we're doing is we're taking a look at the clans and we're deciding who do you take, the male or the female. A lot of people have this question, a lot of people are trying to figure out. So let's take a look at the passive ability, the active ability, and the ultimate ability and help you decide which one to take. So in this video we're going to look at the Karg. I think is how you pronounce it. Uh, basically the clan that transforms into a dragon. So we got the male here. A few disclaimers before we get started in case you haven't seen it in other videos. If this shows percentage, remember the codex in the game shows you the max percentage. The five star mythic maxed out percentage. Your percentages may be different. So let's take a look. His passive, Dragon's Might. Once every three normal attacks increases strength by a percentage, and this stacks up to ten times. Okay, so every three normal attacks, he gets in this case nine percent more damage, and that, that can go up to ninety percent uh, more damage because it'll stack ten times. Get stronger as he attacks more. Pretty good. His active, Dragon Breath. Launches a fireball towards the enemy with the lowest health. The fireball will explode upon reaching the target, dealing damage equal to a percentage of his strength to the target and nearby enemies, and inflict burning for 10 seconds. This ability is huge. Okay, let's 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 unpack it a little bit. Okay, launches a fireball towards the enemy, and this is key with the lowest health. So he's gonna kind of be, he's gonna kind of help you snipe those enemies that are close to death, still being a nuisance, right? Um, and then it also it explodes and it attacks the target and any nearby enemies. So if the low, the enemy with the lowest health happens to be in a cluster, you'll get multiple hits. And here's another very key part. Don't miss this, but I will. I'm, I'm gonna give a little disclaimer here. This is an assumption. Uh, because we have lack of information in the game, there are some assumptions that are going to have to be made. But the key here, it says that it inflicts burning for 10 seconds. Why is that key? Well, this is key because you compare him with the Ignis clan that have abilities that have bonus effects based on burning and you can see that in the ignis clan video but that makes him a very good pair with that with a member from that clan on your board if you want to kind of build around burning all right let's take a look at his ultimate dragon descent transforms into a dragon for 10 seconds after the transformation he immediately pounces forward dealing damage equal to a percentage of his strength to all enemies in the target area. So he turns into a dragon and he jumps and it makes an AOE uh, attack area. And this increases his attack speed by 10% during the transformation. So while he's in dragon form, he gets 10% uh, attack speed bonus. All right, let's take a look at the female. See if she's better. Uh, passive ability. Each time the caster takes damage, they gain a layer of wrath. Each layer of wrath increases her strength by 3%. This stacks up to 10 times. So she can increase her strength up to 30%. Let's jump back over to the male here. Every three normal attacks increases his strength by 9%. Stacks up to 10 times. So we're looking at 90% in what is that 30 basic attacks or um anytime she so she's getting strength as she's getting attacked right anytime she takes damage she gains a layer of wrath so after she takes damage 10 times she'll be at 30 percent bonus after he attacks 30 times he'll be at 90% bonus so his passive I would say ultimately is better her passive is easier to get because you're just getting it naturally by getting attacked okay um, active summons a wreath of flame around 
the caster, so summons a wreath of flame around her that lasts for five seconds, dealing damage equal to a percent of her strength per second, okay? So it's AoE and it's a DOT, so AoE, area of effect, DOT, damage over time, in case you don't know what those means, that's pretty big transforms into a dragon for five seconds after the transformation immediately pounces forward dealing damage equal to a percentage of her strength to all enemies along her path and knocking them back also increases strength by 15 percent during the transformation okay so let's compare hers only lasts for five seconds his lasts for 10 okay they both do 423 no difference there in the pounce. He gets 10% attack speed, okay? As where she gets 15% strength. So she's gonna hit harder, he's gonna hit faster. His lasts twice as long, okay? So I think both here are pretty good. But what I will say is she, with, with the female, it, it feels more of like, a tank roll because you want her taking damage she has the area she has the the wreath her her active ability that just kind of does the damage for being next to people okay and the dragon form is shorter in general if i got to make a choice i'm going with the guy i'm going with the male because his kit i feel is a little better the dragon form is longer uh, he applies the burning she does not so it doesn't you know it doesn't say her wild inferno applies burning as where his active inflicts the burning for 10 seconds which makes him a good complement to the ignis clan so that's my choice i'm going with the male for the card clan i'm belligerent leave a like comment subscribe let me know your thoughts and check out the other clan videos we got coming out Thanks for watching.